Hey, it's your man StyleCon coming at you today with another video. And today we're going to be looking at the, if I'm pronouncing this right, the Tozumi wireless charging LED lamp. I was perusing through the flyers for uh, Black Friday. Notice Walmart had this on sale for $13.77. Unfortunately, I was un unable to get one. They did sell out. For those of you that are interested in like a wireless charging lamp, these usually go for a lot more money. I end up paying $20 plus tax. But these are in excess of like $40, $50, $60 if you're into one. This is a budget one. And actually so far, it's pretty decent. Now, if you want to pause that and read the information for yourself, you're more than likely to do so. Uh, now, let's get into the unit itself. Now, it comes with a cable. All right old school but it does work and of course you have the lamp itself and I was impressed with how they have this wrap for twenty dollars it's like geesh now like I always test everything out before I uh, put a video up and it's just the packaging is like for twenty bucks they did an excellent job and then you have this that swivels, tilts up, down, the base moves. Then of course you have the charging area. And then where the plug goes in. Now there is something that's incredibly important. Now if you look at the box itself, it will tell you that it doesn't come with a wall adapter, not included. You have to have one on your own. And what I did was, I uh, just used a regular old one, and I couldn't get it to charge. It's like, what the heck is going on? I either had to have the light on, or the light off to charge my cell phone. Well, guess what? As most men, I didn't read the instruction booklet. And this is something you do want to read. The most important thing, you need a wireless brick that's 2.5 and above or it will not work doing both at the same time and obviously I pulled out a nicer brick bam now that I'm in action I can have the light on and at the same time charge my phone because actually I was going to take it back I'm thinking what's wrong I can only do one or the other but me not reading the instruction booklet if you need to pause that and read it for yourself and then not knowing that you needed a brick like that was causing all those problems but once you have that which to me is a major thing but now we're in action now let's check this baby out all right now I have this baby hooked up sorry can't get everything in but you have the buttons to turn it up which is all the way up buttons to turn it down then of course like I said it adjusts which is nice turn it all the way up then the best part now I do have a case on my cell phone it's a two-piece case as you can see BAM just put it right on the pad charge it oh I love that and that was the other deal breaker for me possibly if this did not charge matter of fact anything I get if it doesn't charge through a case I don't want it because needless to say I'm not going to take my case on and off this case lives on this phone 24-7 I'm not going to take it off for a product, even though that product is only twenty dollars. I would have preferred to get it for that thirteen seventy-seven, but I was a, a dollar uh, short and a day late, so I couldn't get it. But oh, wait a minute, hold up, let's try that again. There we go. Yeah, usually it doesn't have like a, a sweet spot. If you put your phone roughly in the center of it, you're good to go every time. It has a little blue indicator, let you know it's charging. BAM! Oh, I love that. Now, let's get into the, the good, bad, and ugly part of this. The best part is the price. You can't beat it. For $20, check out Amazon. You're going to spend a lot more money. I like that how adjustable it is, as you can tell. That's really nice. The light does get bright. And it's like a nice white light. It's not like that funky yellow. And then, of course, the, the, the best part of this, it's got that wireless charging pad. Can't beat that. 
Now, in the bed, you need to read the instruction booklets. Like me, typical man, I'm thinking, okay, it's a wireless charging pad and a lamp. Nothing special, nothing that I can't do. Well, guess what? Because of that problem with that brick and not knowing it, I had to read the book to figure it out. Now that it works perfectly, I'm good to go. And then the ugly part of this, it doesn't include a charging brick. You say, Stylecon, big deal. You're right. Spending 20 bucks, and I've got a bunch of these bricks lying around the house from all the different cell phones I've purchased over the years. It is not a big deal, and if you had to go to, you know, say, uh, a five below and get one for $5 or wherever you shop, it's still worth it. 20 for that, say $5 for a brick if you had to buy it. You're still under $40, $50. It works great so far. I've been very pleased with it. I would recommend this, especially at the price. You can't do wrong. This would be perfect on the desk. If you've read the book, or sorry, the box, it says it could make a great travel companion. I'm not putting this in my luggage. <laughs> I hate to say that. It's too big. But for a desk lamp, you know, if you're looking to upgrade, and that's what me, I was having issues with my old lamp, so I said I want to upgrade, but I want something with the wireless charging pad on it. You can't go wrong with this one. Once again, it's your man, StyleCon. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you have any questions, uh, as usual, leave them down below, and I will check you out in the next video.